So next I was thinking we could make some pico. Important part of a taco. <laughs> so this is the thing. I don't like the traditional picos. I mean, it's not that anything's wrong with them. Right. I just like to, you know, step it up a notch. So I love pineapple pico. It's a good summer fruit too. It I mean, really we use is. a lot of it in the summer, so. And if you have some left over, you can, you know, soak it in tequila and suck it in rum. Suck it we'll in talk anything. about that later. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing. A lot of people not crazy about buying a whole pineapple right. because they don't know how to cut it. Exactly. All right. We're gonna so go it doesn't that require today. machete. It does not require <laughs> machete. Or a chainsaw. Okay, got it. <laughs> no, just the regular knife. Okay. All right, so you take it, and the first thing you want to do is cut that little um, top part off of it. Okay. So once you do that, you have your beautiful pineapple on the inside, and then what I like to do is cut the bottom off because sometimes if it's uneven, you can just sit it down flat. Okay. All right? And then you just kind of go to town. You cut each side down. Okay, so it's like skinning it. Yeah. And if you want it to get really technical, you can be really, really thin, do a really thin layer. Okay just to make sure you get a lot of the pineapple in there. Right, because I see you still got a lot of pineapple in here. Yeah. Though. Start chewing that's, on this. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, that's the part <laughs> you can soak in the tequila. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you can kind of cut those sides down. And I didn't do a good job on that one, but it's OK. But um, pretty much once you get that off, you take that and you cut that pineapple in half. Mm -hmm. And this middle part tends to be a little bit bitter. Okay. So you can just kind of cut around that. Okay. So you don't we don't need the middle part. Yeah, That's you why don't it always need have it. the hole in the pineapple. Yeah, yeah, because that part is just kind of hard. It tends to be bitter. And so you just kind of get rid of that. Okay. It's a lot and, easier than I thought. Yeah. And once you do it, you can even feel like you see the okay, difference. Okay, yeah. And then how oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so once we get that all cut down, we don't need tons of pineapple for mm -hmm. the pico, mm -hmm. but that's why I said we have some for later. But, but um, tequila. <laughs> yeah, how do you tell if one is good, one is not good? Because, you know, you could tell with different fruits. Yeah. So this is the thing, kind of feeling the pineapple and looking at the color, if it's really green, it's not really ripe yet. Okay. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. Like sometimes you go to the grocery store and the pineapple is on sale mm -hmm. and then you notice that it's really not ripe. Just take it home and then leave it out on the counter for okay. like a week or so. Yes. All right, so we got our pineapple in the bowl and then we just go and we, actually, you know what? You can grab a lime because we're going to need one of those. Okay. And then, we're gonna add our tomato to it. And you guys probably know me by now. I'm not big into measurements. I'm one of those cook with love type of people. But um, it's the best kind. It is, it is. That's how my mom cooks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I, which is the reason why it made me think about, the reason why my mom says she doesn't really like to bake because she doesn't <laughs> follow oh. direction well. <laughs> she likes to just cook and not measure. <laughs> All right, so let's not eat her bacon, just the good food, <laughs> okay? Yeah, she's, she's actually an excellent baker, but that's just not her thing. Oh, got it. Because she doesn't want to have to follow the directions. I can follow the directions because I love sweets. But throw a little bit of tomatoes, throw some onions in there, top it off with some cilantro, and then why don't you squeeze some lime in there? How much lime are we using this time? Do you want this really limey, like the guacamole? Or I think like half of a lime for this, just because I like that kind of tangy flavor, mm -hmm. but I also like to um, have that sweetness of the pineapple, and I don't want okay. the acidity of the lime to overpower right. the sweetness of okay. the pineapple. Got it. All right. That All right. Do you, you know the lime trick? No. All right, so if What's you What's the get... lime trick? <laughs> you saw there's oh, there's... not like that. <laughs> there's a lot more juice no. left in here. I just don't right, got the muscles right. like you do. Um, so if you don't have muscles like you mm -hmm. and you can't get all that juice out, <laughs> one thing that you can do is pop your lime in the microwave for a few seconds, like 15 to 30 seconds. 
be absolutely perfect and it'll make it nice and juicy. So when you cut into it, oh. that heat helps to break up the juices in the lime. And that's good to know. So that's the lime trick. All right, so now we just kind of mix this up. And then with this, I just kind of eyeball to see if I need more of something else once I get it mixed. Okay. Um, what are you thinking? Maybe some more cilantro? I was gonna say the cilantro, <laughs> girl. Gotta put some more green in there. All right, all right. You are Mexican. That's right, <laughs> I am. But it's funny, okay, a lot of people don't know what pico de gallo actually means. And I don't know why we called it this way. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but pico de gallo means actually the beak of a rooster. But really? I'm not sure what this has anything to do with the rooster or hmm. any kind of, it doesn't make any sense to me. But just so y'all know, you got your little Spanish 101 here at the uh, Simply Served <laughs> edition. Pico de gallo means the beak of a chicken. Of a rooster. So. Sounds great to me. I mean, half of the stuff that we eat, we have no idea right. why it's named that or where right. it comes from. But I love it. <laughs> yes. All right. So now we have our beautiful pineapple pico de gallo. This mm, is gonna go great with our tacos. Can't wait to do tacos. <laughs> All right. La. What's next? <laughs> I don't know what's next. We need some more toppings. Yes. Okay. I got I got a good one for you. You're okay. gonna love this.